The two-year-old trotting fillies and their drivers, Division Two of the 2003 Champlain Grand Circuit Stakes, and here they come. They're off and trotting. Big start at the inside. Winning Miss Brenda has pushed right on through. At her flank going on is Yankee Dakota. Yankee Dakota makes a spirited bid for the early lead. Gildun emerged at the extreme outside. Duck Cell Hanover is up there into the top four. Keystone Secret is off stride. Vanilla Sky now comes on to inherit fifth position. That one just ahead of Crimmings into the first turn. Bally Blue Chip is around the trouble and uh, moving on the outside as the trailer into the first turn was Ombro Blusher. Also on a first turn break, Yankee Dakota. The opening split, 29 seconds flat. Gil Dunn and Chris Christopheru park almost to three-eighths completion around the first turn, but they have made front. Gil Dunn hard-tested to make the lead. Winning Miss Brenda back in second, five more lengths to Duxell. Hanover in third, and she is steadily closing the gap and drawing the bead on the leaders. Vanilla Sky laboring a little bit back there in fourth. Now Crimmings has come on to be fifth, and she's gaining ground with every stride. In the backfield on the way to the halfway point was Bally Blue Chip with uh, two beaten in that lead pack, Ombro Blusher and Keystone Secret, and after the break, near the quarter, Yankee Dakota was gapped, 59-4. and four. Gil Dunn takes him on to the final turn, Duck Sell Hanover, and Dustin Jones off the pylons, moving up on the outside with three-eighths remaining, winning Miss Brenda. Back to third on the inside, Crimmings found a needed seam, and popped out from fourth, Vanilla Sky is on the inside from fifth, and Bally Blue Chip, sixth outside, the last pair to arrive at head stretch are Keystone Secret, Ombro Blusher, and gapped out turning for home, Yankee Dakota, won 30-1, and one, moderate third of 30 and two-fifths. These front eight are very tightly grouped into the final eighth of the mile. Gildun surrenders to Duxell Hanover and Duxell Hanover and Dustin Jones strike front and move away by to Duxell Hanover. The Quebec standout. The Quebec import is clear of the field. One last challenger in the form of Crimmings, but it's Duxell Hanover and Dustin Jones to win the second Champlain Stakes Division by about a half a length over Crimmings and Valley Blue Chip. Duxell Hanover. One 59 and 3. Six Duxell Hanover back as the second race winner at Mohawk in the Champlain Stakes second division of 2003. Lindy Lane, two-year-old Bay Philly. From Catrin, owned by Bommy Farms and Gaetan Bono, trained and driven to victory by Dustin Jones, and she is undefeated in four lifetime appearances and a life's mark in her Champlain Stakes division. Duxell Hanover, 159 and three.